Now, live in HD, covering Fort Worth, Dallas, and all of North Texas, this is CBS 11 News at 10. The loss of a pet, a new way to help your family prepare for that day. The loss of a pet can leave a big void in any family. And we were all there. We all had our hands, our hands on her when, when she was passing. Up next, what this North Texas family learned could help you when it is time to say goodbye. It's a new method that is helping families grieve the loss. The Alabama tornadoes and the Midwest floods, two recent natural disasters that have destroyed thousands of homes and have killed or left abandoned many, many pets. Many of us have a special bond with our pets. I know my two dogs are a big part of our family, and we can't imagine life without either of them. Tonight, you'll hear how one North Texas family handled the loss of their beloved pets and how you can prepare your family for that eventuality. She was, like, so sweet. She just let me pet her. I'd always ask my dad if she could sleep with me, and he'd always say no. The hated family of Plano has fond memories of their first dog, Bailey. And the kids all loved her, and she was the most wonderful dog ever. The spunky black lab was a member of the family for more than 10 years before she was diagnosed with advanced bone cancer. And we just thought it was best to put her down instead of having her suffer. The Hateds chose to do it in their home so the entire family could be there. And we were all there. We all had our hands, our hands on her when, when she was passing. I said that I would never forget her and that everything we've been through together was fun. I'm going to miss her and I love her. Whether it's a family member or a pet that is part of your family, um, you can't change how you feel. Dr. Rebecca Westbrook worked with the Hadids to put Bailey to sleep in their home. She says no matter how tough you think you are, losing a pet can be devastating and you will feel grief. You know, sometimes we cry and sometimes we don't and, and it doesn't mean you're not grieving. The feelings associated with grief are extremely comparable to those for any other loss. Dr. Diane Pomerantz has written several books on dealing with the loss of a pet. This is Caesar. She says pet owners should not feel embarrassed or try to hide their feelings. They should grieve for their pets, just as they would for any human member of their family. There is nothing to be ashamed of or embarrassed about grieving. Come on, everybody! Dr. Pomerantz created a first-of-its-kind grief counseling program in North Texas through the SPCA. It offers pet owners a chance to connect to others who are going through the same thing. This is my big guy. When they see that they literally are not alone, that helps them to become in touch with what they're actually feeling. And I'd be driving down the road and I'd start crying and I didn't know why. Lou Olinger says she was surprised when she realized her unusual feelings were from grieving her dog. She took part in one of the first SPCA grief classes earlier this year and said it helped lessen the pain. And it helped me so much that I wanted to become a certified grief counselor. Having her be put to sleep in our house and being with her really helped a lot. The Hated family believes they've dealt with their grief, and while they still have two other dogs in the family, they will always remember their first. Because there won't ever be another dog like Bailey. I'll never forget her. Dr. Pomerantz offers group counseling sessions through the SPCA. They're held in Dallas and are open to people of all ages who've lost a pet. To learn more, just go to our website, cbsdfw.com.